Helping People Create Global Ecology. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 213. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 213, April 23rd, 2017 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we'll add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our updates that way, or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued creation of the renders for the Ultimate Classroom, adding additional aesthetic elements like musical instruments on the upper shelves and tools under the seats. We also created a new Ultimate Classroom overview image for inclusion at the end of the Seven Villages online book we're developing. And we completed the final 40% of the mind map for the form lesson plan, bringing it to 100% complete, as you can see here and continued the process of a final proofreading and editing of all 52 lesson plans. This week, we completed the Planet Earth lesson plan and the Outer Space lesson plan. This brings us to 11 of 52 finished. Working with Sungum Stanzak, PhD in PE, we continued with our seventh week of collaborative calls, developing the evaluation and evolution component of the Highest Good Education program. What you see here is the initial teacher outline for the process and addition to the open source hub of new icons we created for this component. Ashwin Patil, web developer, then added these new icons and the associated pages to the Highest Good Education search engine. And Jennifer Zhao, web designer, completed the addition and formatting of the final images to the Learning Tools and Toys page. One community's approach to Highest Good Food is duplicable almost anywhere scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team created four additional header images for the food self-sufficiency transition plan page, which is 93% complete. You can see the four images here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team finished updating the AutoCAD files to standardized formats for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. We also created this new combination image of the floor plans for the Compressed Earth Block Village Pod 4 and added this image and the most current landscaping plan to the Compressed Earth Block Village Open Source Hub. In addition to this, and working on the Earth Bank Village, we updated this cutaway view of the Murphy bed inside one of the domes with added storage boxes in the loft, updating the desk chair, and adjusting the section cut view. We also started working on the rendering images for one of the children's domes, adding bedding details and items on the tables and shelves. Elena Thompson, mechanical engineer, completed her 11th week helping with the net zero communal bathroom designs. This week's focus was adding in all the piping specifics for connecting the sinks and toilets, as shown here. Christian Ojeda, 
mechatronic engineer, completed his 11th week helping with the heat recycling communal eco shower and vermiculture bathroom designs. This week's focus was creating the second version of our water reservoirs under the tropical atrium. Fernando Rimolina, industrial engineer specializing in project management, and Lin Zhu, mechanical engineering student, also continued with their 15th week of work on the vermiculture bathroom development. This week's focus, as shown here, was researching parts, specifics, and other alternatives for the dumping process. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 65 of Dean's work. This week's focus was continued work on the cutaway views of the southeast wing looking north, adding outdoor details and updated bedspreads. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 38th week helping with the compressed earthblock village pod 4 design and render details. This week's focus was finalizing the brick pattern updates and re-adding in the indigo trim details for the building itself, as shown in the render here. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the compressed earthblock village external elements. What you see here is her 21st week of work focusing on the seating and layout details of the south side of Zone 5. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team updated the Living Dome Sunrise Patio Render for the Duplical City Center and added it to the open source hub. And we updated the formatting and descriptions for all the other renders of the City Center main open source hub. You can see some examples of this work here. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 35th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finishing the lighting analysis and placement for the two public bathrooms in the social dome. Hayes Lay, structural engineer, and Chun Ni, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, also continued their work on the city center's structural engineering. This week's focus was continuing the wind calculations for the structure. You can see notes for this work here. Hennen Dantes, mechanical engineer, continued with his 15th week working on the Duplical City Center AutoCAD updates. This week's focus was adding more room and library details and finishing the kitchen area cleanup. And Adrian Gould Choquette, mechanical engineer, finished her 16th week with the team. This week's focus was more load calculations and projections for the city center heating and air conditioning infrastructure, as shown here. We'd say we're about 90% complete with these calculations now. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. Samya Manahar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, completed her third week of work on the Highest Good Network and was joined by Anil Kumar Mala, software engineer, completing his first week of work. Their combined focus this week was continued development of the login and landing pages and researching Ember.js, Ember.js, and MongoDB to confirm these as our best development choices moving forward. One community is helping people create global ecology through open source and do-it-yourself tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And highest good living is an evolution of sustainability that takes the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combines them with the foundations of emotional sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship putting these things together into a model that we believe will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now, and helping people create global ecology by using this way of living to help others as well. The idea being that if people have all of their needs provided for and taken care of, we believe that human nature is to help others. And so we're creating what we're creating as a model for setting people free, as a way for people to live a way of life that is sustainable, that provides more of the things that they want, 
close to home so they can spend more time with friends, more time with family, more time sharing their gifts and doing the things that they love and care about the most, and that's designed specifically to replicate itself by being most effective if it's shared, and then when people come and experience everything that it is that we're creating or that others are creating, they'll be able to take those models because they're open source, because they're free shared, and apply them in their own life. And so the ultimate expression of this idea of helping people create global ecology is one community as a prototype, as a teacher demonstration community, village, city, and hub, purpose to teach others how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. The idea being that if we make this easy enough, affordable enough, and dem can demonstrate this solution model designed to help create other solution creating models, specifically a self replicating community, a self-sustainable, self-sufficient community designed to replicate. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then we see the idea spreading on its own. And because we're creating everything with the consciousness for the highest good of all and bringing together people who share the consciousness for the highest good of all to do everything it is that we're doing, we're a 100% volunteer organization creating all this. We believe that by creating these foundations and specifically purposing them to be replicated, open sourced, and designed to spread on their own. We believe that when well, the least case, we're gonna make a better world. But in its most ideal example, we believe that within our lifetime, we can create a planet that truly works for everybody. We believe that a self-replicating model has the potential to positively and permanently change the lives of everybody on this planet if we can launch it show people what it is that we have and make it easy enough and affordable enough and demonstrate it's attractive enough so the idea spreads on its own, we think that we can reach every corner of this planet, we can create a sustainable world for everybody within one lifetime. And if you consider the within one generation, within our lifetime, so really within the next 30 to 40 years, which seems like a wild idea unless you actually run the numbers, the idea being that if you start with 50 people and you create a self-replicating teacher demonstration hub, and it is attractive and affordable enough to begin self-replicating. And that spawns two the next year, and those two spawn four the next year, and those motivate people to start eight the year after that, and 16 and 32. If you run those numbers, we can create a large enough movement to revolutionize the way that people live on this planet, create a foundation of sustainable and self-sufficient living that anybody can, can apply in their lives, that anybody who wants to can participate in change the way that people think about living as a whole. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if it sounds fun to you, if it sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, get involved in what it is that we're doing. We have lots of different ways to do that. The easiest, of course, is just sharing our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Reddit LinkedIn, Pinterest, and about 15 others to make it as easy as possible. Of course, people ask, well, what's the largest thing that I can do to help? The largest thing would be to help us get funded. We're still seeking large-scale funding. We are a 100% volunteer, unpaid organization. So every little donation that we get helps to continue keeping our website running and all this expenses associated with running a global nonprofit like ours. None of it goes to salaries. But we're still seeking that large-scale funding so we can get the property off the market. The same property that we've been focusing on for seven years is still available. It's waiting for us, but we need help to get that property off the market so we can disclose the location, so we can take our whole process to the next level, and so we can start doing a lot and open sourcing a lot of the details and specifics that can only be open sourced and accomplished once we own the property and know that's where we're gonna be building. So if you or somebody you know has the resources to help us do that, we would love to speak with you. In the meantime, we're gonna continue helping people create global ecology by doing what we do best, which is open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're creating and getting closer and closer every single day, every single week to being completely shovel ready so that we can actually build everything that we've been designing. And when we get to the point where that's complete, we'll focus 100% of our effort on just finding funding. But in the meantime, we're looking for that individual investor or small group that like to either donate to one community's 501c3 nonprofit organization or invest in one community We'd love to speak with you. And until that, until we find that person, we're going to continue focusing on what we do best, which is open sourcing and free sharing and designing everything that's necessary anyway. This is how one community is creating world change. This is our idea for a self-replicating model that can transform the world for everybody. And everyone's invited to participate. 
So thanks for following our progress. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the small donations that we get, the 5 10 the 15 the $50, the occasional $100 donation make a really big difference in helping us cover our overhead and just basic foundational expenses. Like I said, we're all unpaid volunteers, so none of it's going to my salary or anybody else. We don't have a salary. We're doing this because we want to live this way. We're doing this because we want to see a world that works for everybody and for a variety of other reasons, but mainly because we believe that a world that truly works for everybody is possible and that we are the ones that we've been waiting for, that nobody else is going to do it for us. And so we're creating the change. We're being a part of this next huge step that we see in the forward progress of humanity, writing the next big chapter of the human story ourselves. Get involved if you'd like to. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything I've talked about in this video and everything else we're working on, visit our website, visit our written blog, and you can see week by week everything that we've done. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And last and certainly not least, thanks for following our progress. Thanks for liking, sharing our information. Thanks for watching to the end. And until next week, we will... Of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.